Hey, Dwayne, Adam Jardy with the Columbus Dispatch. Um, you're about to step here on, on the national stage, and I think for those of us that watch you at Ohio State, we kind of know, you know, what you bring to that. But what do you think that people who are turning and in, tuning into the tournament maybe could be seeing you play for the first time? What are they going to see from you? What are, what are they going to take away from, from watching you on this stage? Yeah, um, so I'm super excited for, for us and, and the team to, you know, um, attack this tournament um, with 100% effort. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm super excited for two reasons. Uh, <clears throat> this is the first one that I've been in in two years. Uh, last year, unfortunately, everything got shut down and uh, we weren't able to participate in this. So <clears throat> um, guys, emotions and um, emotions are, are, are high and super excited to, to, to finally be able to, to, to play in the big dance again. And, uh, get back to, to to what it feels like, and um, <clears throat> you know, my freshman year, um, only played a couple, maybe 10, 11 minutes. So um, got in there, and, and I'm pretty sure I hit a three against Houston and uh, maybe Iowa State. But uh, um, this year, it's it's, uh, it's going to be a little bit different. Um, you know, my role is different, um, team is different. So um, you know, we talk about it with each other, how, how important it's going to be to stay together and um, make sure we're we're going in March and. Um, on my side, um, I'm going to bring positive energy, uh, great energy, picking up my teammates, um, playmaking and, and shot making, um, and, you know, just doing everything I can to try to help our team win. All right, next up, Stephen Means with Dave Campbell on deck. Stephen. Stephen Means, Cleveland.com. Dwayne, kind of a two-part question here. For starters, Oral Roberts has a guy who will literally step past half court and then pull. I mean, I don't know how often you've had to deal with guarding guys who play like that. There might be two other people on the planet who shoot the ball like that, and they both get paid to do this. One, how do you guard a guy when you know he can step out half court and pull? Also, if Chris Holtman saw you shoot a shot like that in practice, what would his reaction be? Uh, if Coach told me to shoot a shot like that, I would just have to make it. If I didn't make it, then he'll probably like make me run or take me out, especially in practice. In the game, in the game, he'll take me out and be like, "What were you doing?" <laughs> be like, "What are you doing, doing?" Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah, uh, Admus is, a, is is their guard, um, leading scorer in the country. Um, it's gonna be a great matchup. I'm super excited for our team to to go against somebody like that. Um, at that at that high of a level, um, <clears throat> obviously, uh, he is a very good player. He does shoot from um, from from wherever on the on in the gym, and um, you know, at, at that point, you just gotta have good contests, good contests on his jumpers uh, everywhere he is. Make sure there, there's somebody's around him at all times, and um, just make sure you get a hand up. You know, I, I, percentages show that those those, those are tough shots. Um, so those those shots will, he'll hit some definitely he's a good, good good player but um you know the the more he takes of those uh we'll be, be all right next up is dave campbell with brendan gulick on deck dave hey Dwayne, it's uh dave campbell with the associated press hey is piggybacking off that um if you think about shot selection and three pointers um how do you sort of balance you know you're one of the better three-point shooters in the country but no, making sure that you're taking the right shots and sort of balancing with that, how, how big of a shot it can be, but knowing that trying to make it, make it a smart one. Yeah. Um, and you're talking about from, from my standpoint or, or, or yes. Yeah. For, okay. Yes. Yeah, offensive. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, that's something I, I've struggled with, uh, honestly. Um, you know, those are things, conversations me and coach have, me and coach Duba have, um, me and my dad have of, of not settling. Um, you know, there's lots of times where, you know, a three pointer can get can get shot. At, at, uh, you know, obviously there's there's people in, in in the world who can shoot from very very far and deep and and whatnot. So um, you can always get off a three. And I think um, working on it in in practice and understanding what's settling and what's not and, and taking what the defense gives you and getting what we want. Those two things are different and. Um, you just gotta focus and lock in a little bit more, and, and, and uh, be be really be really locked in on what you guys want to do as a group uh, attacking that game. And, and um, obviously, sometimes you gotta make plays. Uh, always gotta be aggressive, but um, <clears throat> just just knowing time and score uh, and time and place is, is is what I've been working on and, and getting pretty good at. So, <clears throat> next up, Brendan Gulick with Patrick Murphy on deck. Brendan. 
Hi, Dwayne. Brendan Gulick with Buckeyes Now on Sports Illustrated. A sort of a two-part question for you. First, uh, can you give us an idea on how morale of the team is after the emotional roller coaster you guys went through last week? Uh, obviously, all four games were, were really tight. Um, and the second part is, is more about just playing at Purdue, a familiar court, a familiar venue, you know, shooting uh, angles that you've seen before. Does that help? Does it matter? How, you know, what are your thoughts on playing at Purdue? Yeah, uh, so to, to answer your first question, um, the guys are doing better. Um, you know, it's, it, it, it's hard. Um, you're right, it was, it was emotional. And uh, the guys, you know, we all fought so hard to get to, to where we were and put ourselves in a position to, to, to bring home a championship. And, um, you know, unfortunately, that wasn't the outcome. Um, but, uh, you, know, you know, guys were, were hurting. It hurt. So uh, guys were hurting for the first night. Um, it was Justice's 22nd birthday yesterday, so uh, that kind of took our minds off uh, basketball for a little bit. We we uh, was playing Uno and and, and playing uh, BS uh, the card game, so uh, we had a little fun. Um, you know, kind of relaxed us and, and settled us back into you know this 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 gauntlet that we're about to attack uh, starting on Friday. So um, into the second question, <clears throat> uh, Purdue's a great arena. Mackey gets loud. Um, I saw the court in there. It looks pretty nice. It says March Madness on it. Looks pretty cool. Um, obviously, not sure how the the the, the fans are going to show up for for either of us. But it, uh, Purdue's not too far for from Ohio State, so hopefully we can get a good crowd in there, and, and um, it should be fun. Uh, obviously, we played there uh, multiple. I played. So, um, you know, it'll be it'll be good to to have a sense of familiarity. But um, you know, it's just it's just you know, a lot of things can happen. Next up, Patrick Murphy with Dan Hope on deck. Patrick. Wayne, how would you, uh, Patrick Murphy from 247 Sports, how would you define your, your play this weekend? You, you set a Big Ten tournament record for points. I think you led the team in assists one game, led in rebounds twice. It, it just seemed like you were really in control. How did you, when you looked back at it, how do you kind of define the way you played in those four games? Um, it just, it, it reminded me so much of, of an AU tournament, and I think, um, you know, back in the day, like even now, you just you, you're gonna do anything in your power to win. Um, uh, there's a lot of things that I still could have done better, but um, you know, I, I felt like I left it all out there and tried to to do everything I could to to help my team win. And um, you know, it's it's not all just one person. It's not it's on the team. And um, you know, we got a, got us to the championship, but we had a little bit more we could have controlled and um, and got done. But um, you know, like I said, it just felt like an AU tournament. It felt like we were at um, Spies Field House and on Championship Sunday. And uh, at that point, you want it all. You want the you want the ring. You want the trophy. You want it, you want to get it all. So you're just gonna do everything in your power to 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 do it. Um, and, and yeah. <clears throat> Next up's Dan Hope with Tim Hall on deck. Dan. Hey, Dwayne. Dan Hope from Eleven Warriors. Just. How much do you think it helped you guys prepare for this gauntlet of the NCAA tournament that you did just have these four games in four days and you've proven to yourselves that you can compete uh, in that kind of setting? Yeah, um, the Big Ten is the, the best uh, basketball conference in the country. Uh, I've said it multiple times in um, multiple interviews and um, you know, I, I don't think there's a, there's another conference that can get you ready for um, the, the NCAA tournament like, like, like the Big Ten can. Um, uh, you, you obviously got to take it with a grain of salt. You got to understand that um, it is what it is, and this turn, this 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 conference is the toughest. So, um, you know, it, it can possibly mess you up. You know, uh, as we lost four in a row towards the end of the regular season. But uh, understanding that you know we're still the same team, um, we just uh, made some some executed poorly late or whatever the case may be. <clears throat> um, we bounced back. Um, find a way to get to the championship and, uh, you know, have the chance to play for a ring. So um, that just shows how um, locked in we are and, and bought into what we're trying to do here. And uh, we're super excited for this this uh, this run. All right, and our last two questions come from Timmy Hall and Adam Jardy. Tim. Hey, Dwayne. Tim Hall, 97.1 The Fan. I'm just wondering if, if what you did at the end of the Big Ten tournament, if internally it's it's like what, what we all saw where – You've been a good player already, one of the best on this team, but your game seems to be transforming to a, a different stratosphere in front of everybody's eyes. I, I just was wondering if there's 
what's going on behind the scenes, you know, that's that's leading to, to you elevating your game here? Um, I just been believing in myself, man, at the highest level. Um, so have my coaches and my teammates, my family, my support system. Um, it's always been like that for me, but um, you know, I, I, I just been doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. Like I ain't changed nothing up. Uh, uh, I just been sticking with it and, and understanding that, that there's a there's a process with this with this basketball thing. You gotta trust it and you gotta um, fully give yourself into it. Um, and once you do that, you see results. You see um, greatness uh, slowly, slowly coming uh, into fruition. And and that's all I want as a player. That's all I want for us as a team, uh, for the coaches. Great, like um, so. At this point, I'm just trying to do everything I can in my power to to, to help win basketball games and uh, and just keep surviving and advancing. All right, we'll finish up with Adam Jardy. Adam. Adam Jardy, Columbus Dispatch again. You mentioned a moment ago that um, when, when I asked you about, about like uh, being in the tournament the, the first time and you, you said how you think you hit a three or two, but um, what, what does that feel like when you're stepping out on that stage for the first time? And I know it'll be different without the crowds, but this is a team that doesn't have a lot of NCAA tournament experience on it because obviously we didn't have one last year, but what, what, it, what do you remember about stepping on that court for the first time in the NCAA tournament that so many of your teammates are going to be experiencing for the first time this year? Yeah, man, I, I just, I'm super excited. This is, this is one of the coolest, most historical things I've ever been a part of. Uh, you know, we're in a, we're in a gigantic bubble in multiple hotels right now. And, and we get to, to to play the game we love and walk past each other like it's AAU back in the day. So, um, you know, I think f- for us, we're just taking it all in, understanding where we're at, what we're doing, how cool this actually is. And um, I think it's really opening people's eyes and just understanding like, hey, at the end of the day, it's just a basketball game. Um, obviously, there's there's stuff that we got to work on, scout this, this, and this. But at the end of the day, it's just basketball. And, and I think uh, it's connected us so much more. Um, got us all bought into to, to, to the end goal of what we want. Um, and, you know, I, I'm not sure if it'll change too much. You know, uh, obviously the tournament is the March Madness, the, the name, the, all this cool stuff and brackets and um, just little nerves here and there. Uh, definitely going to be um, some, some, some guys nervous, and, uh, but, but those will shake out. Uh, as soon as you get on the court, um, it's just basketball. You got to go out there, do what you do, um, play your role, and we can get some stuff done, so. Thank <clears throat>